Here's Vulanov, winds up, takes the shot, broke the stick of Smith. Here's Vulanov again. Hoffenmeyer, boy, he had a big, hard shot yesterday that resulted in a goal. Vulanov with that stick out there as he tries to get by it. It now ends up doing the work all by itself to get that puck out. Andreasen working back. Vulanov with good skates to get back into the play. Pulling it to Rango, shoots, he scores! And an early goal from the Grand Rapids Griffins as they take advantage of a broken stick to race back the other way and put one behind Ferguson. So Johansson sits in the box for two minutes for delay a game and the Marlies will get their next power play opportunity. Those are the ones as a defenseman you see that puck go over the glass and you think, oh. Scores! That one finds its way into the goal. Abrazizi takes the original shot, the touch by Joey Anderson. And it's in behind Old Kenora to tie this game up with 2.20 left to go. Yeah, the back check was coming quick. You know when you get those chances that you've got to attack with speed. Got it with speed, cuts to the goal, backhand stopped by Old Kenora. And now right back the other way, here come the chances. Over the line, waiting to stay onside. The shot scores! And Dominic Shine gets a piece of this one and makes no mistake with it. They're gonna change things out as Sarnik gets out front and Les Ferrance comes in. Puck in the mix. Back it comes, tapped at the line. Douglas trying to get there. Played back to the point. They get back into position. Les Ferrance rolls out front, Sarnik. Waiting on it, moving it quickly. Back over, shoots, scores! Luff with a rip into the goal. And he puts the Griffins up 3-1 on the power play. And I think this is going to be five on four rather than a four on three power play. I think everybody had been released there. Trying to hold off his man. Doesn't like the way this one is turning out. Hiroshi's been great on the four check in this game. Steves quickly finding some help. Joey Anderson shoots, scores! Toasty! Joey Anderson with his second of the hockey game to bring the Marlies within one, a four-on-four -four goal. Back checked on the play. Chris Colo got a hold of it and right back out into center and down the ice into the Marlies zone it goes. A little push along there, but it doesn't get far. Hiroshi has had some speed in this game. Bringing it back in front, oh! up top. It goes. And Chris Colo is going to put the Griffins up 4-2. Calling for it, Steves. He gets a hold of it. Right back to Hollowell. Logan Shaw looks in, down low it comes. Quick movement here from the Marlies. Trying to take advantage, but nothing seems to have show itself. Shaw takes the shot, letting it go. Hollowell tried to get it back, and it is picked up by Hanas, and this will end it. Well, a little emotion there from Hanas. He didn't just put that puck into the empty net. He took a, he took a full slap shot, and I don't think the Marlies are really happy about that. Beat Rochester, beat this Grand Rapids Griffins team yesterday, and now they're going to fall to this Griffins team. They are now 1-1 one one against Grand Rapids this year, a team they were 3-1 and one against last year. They'll head to Grand Rapids later in the year for two there at the Van Andel Arena. But uh, a well-structured win from Grand Rapids this afternoon. Final score.